Well, Sankara Investments is a is a full service wealth management platform, and uh, I started it because I've been interested in investing since I was at least 13. Um, so I remember just sort of being curious about what what investing was about. Um, so I started investing personally when. Um, I went to the States for college and was able to open my first brokerage account and started trading. In fact, I, I remember I used to skip class to day trade. <laughs> um, and uh, it was a very interesting time. It was actually uh, in the midst of the internet bubble. Um, exactly. So 98, 97, 98, 99. And it was a very interesting time to learn about investing. <laughs> because I definitely lost what little money I had. Um, so that, of course, got me even more curious about you know, understanding the fundamentals of investing. So after business school, I mean, I initially worked um, in uh, consulting, um, but after business school, I then went to work at Goldman Sachs in investment strategy. And that's where I really feel like I um, just sort of developed the understanding of the theory of investing, like just sort of the true underpinnings of what drives return. So that was just a, an amazing experience for me. And after doing it for a few years, I just realized that I needed to run you know, my own investment firm. I wanted to manage money directly for people. And it was a, a very interesting time also in Nigeria. This was now 2007, 2008. So of course, there was a lot going on in Nigeria, as you know, especially around the stock markets. And at Goldman at that time, I was actually covering um, I was looking at a wide range of asset classes and was very interested at the time in emerging markets. Um, so I just got into my mind that I needed to start a hedge fund. So I thought to myself, perfect, you know, Africa is doing fantastic. There's so much global interest in investing in Africa. Why not go back to Nigeria, where I'm from, and go start a hedge fund? And it was really, now that I think about it, it was actually kind of bold to do that at the time because, I mean, I was... I don't know, maybe 20, 28, 29. And it's not that I had a lot of investing experience at that point, but I really just felt like um, I would be able to do it. It was, um, so I just sort of left and figured I would go back home. But when I came back home, of course, I just realized that I needed to also get some Nigeria work experience. So, and it was pretty much the beginning of the downturn. <laughs> so the timing was not perfect, but at that time, um, I worked for Zenith Capital for a bit and then was able to eventually start Sankara in 2010. And I was truly oblivious to just sort of how difficult it was going to be. I was so driven to do this and to actualize my vision. So I just sort of went in um, and just still determined to start a hedge fund. Um, however, it was very hard to raise money, especially globally. And I realized that there was actually quite a big pool of capital that really wasn't properly managed and it was mostly individual funds. Um, and so that for me became an interesting place and I actually stumbled upon it by accident. As I said, I was running a company that was set up to uh, run hedge funds um, and I remember having one client who invested possibly, I don't know, it was more than 60-70% of their net worth in our hedge fund. And I didn't know at the time that it was that large an amount. Generally, you know, globally you're supposed to, uh, you know, the people who invest in hedge funds are supposed to be sophisticated clients um, and very high net worth individuals who kind of know what a hedge fund is and the level of risk. But it just, it just made me realize that the level of sophistication of even HNI clients in Nigeria is slightly different. I, I wouldn't say it's worse, but the way they understand investments is completely different because Nigeria is just such a different place. Um, so it just sort of showed me that there was an opportunity here to set up something where we would provide investment strategy and guidance to clients while helping them invest at the same time. So that was really just sort of the, the impetus to start the company. Mm -hmm.